Hi, I'm Tommy, and we're back with the answers for Smarter Than the Average Bear number 6. Category A was the Vietnam War. Now, I showed a comic book cover, which was Marvel's The Nom, The Nom, which began publication in 1986, uh, running for seven years, and covering the war from 1966 to 1972. Question 2. The audio clip was during a Vietnam War protest, or a reenactment of a Vietnam War protest. Um, although I would have accepted a draft card burning, which was happening in the clip also. Category B was art. And question three, um, I showed a sculpture by um, Giovanni Lorenzo Bernini, who was featured in Dan Brown's Angels and Demons. Now, Bernini was born in uh, 1598 and died in 1680. And now, he was the pre preeminent Baroque sculptor and architect of 17th century Rome. Now question four, the audio we heard, was from Georgia O'Keeffe, the American painter. Now this recording was made in the 1970s, about 10 years before her death in 1986. Story C was mythology, and I'm sorry, this comic art wasn't quite as epic as I remembered and didn't translate well to YouTube size. It was from an issue of the Teen Titans, and you could see a little bit of Wonder Girl in one panel. Um, and it featured the mythological titans, such as Cronus and Rhea, who were the parents of Zeus and some other Greek gods. Now, in the folk song that I played, the, the Welsh mythological figure Blodiwyd, uh, who is most often known as the Woman of Flowers. Now, she helped kill another figure in her pantheon and was cursed to live the rest of her life as an owl. Now, category D was Stephen King. And um, number seven, the cover art that I showed was from Stephen King's first online-only novel, The Plant. And question eight, following his car accident in 1998, Stephen King wrote Dreamcatcher, Longhand. And that's what he was talking about in the clip was writing Longhand, uh, since he couldn't work at the word processor. Nine, according to the opening montage, while pinning the metal on, some blood was spilled, and so it was planned, he command, F Troop, which starred Ken Berry, who was later well known for being on Mama's Family, Forrest Tucker, and Larry Storch, which ran from 1965 to 1967. Now question 10, in the audio clip we heard Jim Neighbors trying to learn a bit about kitchen duty in Gomer Pyle USMC, which ran from 1964 to 1969 and was a spin-off of the Andy Griffith show where Jim Neighbors originated the character of Gomer Pyle. Welcome to Smarter Than the Average Bear number 7. Now this week we've got all new categories, so let's start with category A, architecture. Now what famous early 20th century architect's work is shown here? Uh, question 2, what long-lived architect is heard in this clip? Well, this is the finest job I've ever had in my life in the first place. I have waited all my life to design uh, a church. And this is a, a a big civic statement, a big urban statement, a big uh, emotional statement for all of us. This will be the, the thing that I intend uh, to be memorialized by which. Uh, Category B is movies. Um, what Disney film is shown here? Or what fantasy film is heard here? Why do you do this? Because you had love in your hands, and you gave it up. But they would have killed Wesley if I hadn't done it. Your true love lives, and you marry another. True love saved her in the fire swamp, and she treated it like garbage. And that's what she is, the queen of refuse. So bow down to her if you want. Bow to her. Bow to the queen of slime, the queen of filth, the queen of putrescence. Category C is political systems. Now, the symbol shown here represents what political system? Question six, what political system is defined by 14 characteristics, some of which are heard here? Powerful and continuing nationalism. Flags are seen everywhere, flag symbols on clothing, public displays. Disdain for the recognition of human rights. People tend to look the other way or even approve of torture, summary executions, assassinations, long incarcerations of prisoners with no charges. 
identifying enemies or scapegoats as a unifying cause, uh, like people are rallied into a unifying patriotic frenzy over the need to eliminate a perceived common uh, threat or foe. The category D is New Orleans. Now, what New Orleans establishment made this alcoholic beverage famous? What jazz legends are heard in this clip from the 1947 motion picture, New Orleans? All you old-time queens from New Orleans who live in Storyville. That's us. You sang the blues, tried to amuse. Here's how they pay the bill. Yes, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The law stepped in and called it sin to have a little fun. Category E is American history. What historical uh, facility of the United States, shown here, was in use from 1892 to 1954? Question 10. What famous American figure of recent history is heard here? Now for bonus points, tell me what year this was and um, also what the name of this particular speech was. My fellow Americans, I come before you tonight as a candidate for the vice presidency and as a man whose honesty and, te and integrity has been questioned. Now the usual political thing to do when charges are made against you is to either ignore them or to deny them without giving details. I believe we've had enough of that in the United States, particularly with the present administration in Washington, D.C. If you think you know more than five of the answers in today's episode, please leave a comment with your answers. Uh, they'll be screened until I give the answers next week, so you won't spoil the answers for anybody else. You can also rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to leave a video response, you can do that as well. That'll be screened also. And I'll be back next week with scoring for any participating players. I'm Tommy Howell, and you've got all week to prove to me that you're smarter than the average bear.